What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, we have to talk about something extremely disappointing. I understand it. I want to make that very clear in the beginning of this video. Take the time you need, especially for a gem like this. The Wolf Among Us 2 was in my top games I was looking forward to in 2023. I think maybe my top four or so. I really thought, you know, in terms of the big guns, the Hogwarts Legacies, the Zeldas, the Spider-Mans, I thought a game like this could kind of swoop in and quietly be maybe better than all of them. I really, truly think it could happen. I guess I'll have to wait till 2024. So... The game was delayed. It was delayed till 2024. It's hard to say, like, if it's a full year because you don't know when it comes out in 2024, and you also don't know when it was supposed to come out this year. Although, when they talk about it, and we will read some of the quotes to this, they do say things like, if we wanted it to come out this year, if we actually did that, it would require a lot of crunch and, and you know, things like that, and we don't want to do that to the people that work for us. Which, firstly, that's very good, but secondly, does that indicate that you know, you maybe could have gotten the game if you did all that stuff. Maybe you get the game out November, December. But because you're not going to do it, does that mean the game is now like an early 2024 thing, like a February, March? I know it's reading into things that really aren't said, but I think you can read into it just a little bit. So let's read through it. They actually did a post, and then they talked to IGN in an article, and they kind of gave more details because they knew that, you know, this was a big deal. People were going to take this hard. And I do appreciate it because Telltale, I mean, this is a company that completely fell apart for a lot of reasons. And then they build themselves back up and then they really haven't accomplished too, too much as of right now. So I'm not saying they don't have it in them. I think they do because of this game almost in particular. But I think this uh, transparency, and I think they know it too, right? I think the transparency is very important that they keep that because they did fail. They completely crumbled. They didn't have people that were really bought. A lot of their games were financial disappointments or failures just in all. So I think you do have to be very transparent with people as you look to build yourself up again. So today, Telltale Games has announced that its long-awaited sequel to The Wolf Among Us is being pushed out of 2023 to 2024 in an effort to avoid crunch and team burnout, and they're moving from Unreal Engine 4 to 5. Making games is difficult, and they need time to be right, and it doesn't do any of us any good to ship something that's not ready. He explains that like many other studios, the re-established Telltale Games have struggled during the great things that happened around the world. After being resurrected in 2019, they unveiled The Wolf Among Us at the Game Awards that following December, but the studio was still in its very early stages with the game in pre-production, and the new studio roughly two years away from being fully staffed. Well, at the time, it made sense to announce early to help secure funding and support for the new initiative. He admits that if he had known about the other upcoming factors, he may not have made the same decision. Since then, though, the game has been proceeding well, but recently, Telltale made the decision to switch from Unreal Engine 4 to 5. It happened because Unreal Engine 5 has a number of interesting features that many on his team, specifically engineers and artists, feel are worth the effort, but he admits that means redoing quite a bit of work that was already done in Unreal 4. Then he talks about the ways that they would have been able to do 2023. One option would have been to ship something unfinished, which is perhaps obviously off the table. If we put this game out and it's not ready, we're going to get torn to shreds. The expectations are pretty high, and we want time to meet those, and we want to be proud of it and know that, hey, this is the best game we could have made. Let the world say what they will once it's done, but at least we know that in these times, in these conditions, this is the best game that we could make. The other would be Crunch. And based Basically, he's done crunch. He doesn't want to do it again. They re-say that it'll be an episodic release, but unlike many other former Telltale games, it's being developed all at once. So when one episode hits, all other episodes will already be completed. And this was already said, and he actually had told Jeff Keighley, they had like that sit-down interview, right? So episodic, and maybe it'd even be weekly. Weekly, maybe monthly, but they're not going to stretch it so, so far like they did for all their older games. That way you can avoid those stupid of delays that then made the whole game kind of feel just off and the whole game would be done by the time the first episode releases hence why you would do it weekly or even monthly right episode one drops say there's five episodes all five are done 
Now, you lose the thing where it's like you can get feedback from people, but I mean, modern day games, and even back then, like, you should have your story, you should be ready to go, and kind of like he says in this IGN article, you just, you let it be, right? You you give all you can give, and then you let the world kind of say its piece. I like the idea that they used to do of, you know, releasing it and kind of taking feedback, and maybe, maybe that influences later episodes, but again, things have changed, and I think it just makes it, and I would definitely sacrifice that then I believe even the first Wolf Among Us had this issue episode one came out then there was a delay between episodes one and two so it was this stupidly long wait and it just everything feels off I think Life is Strange the first Life is Strange game has been the best episodic game of that era that did it consistency the episodes were good it's one of my favorite games of all time so there's a biasness there but I think in terms of that consistency they nailed it better than Telltale ever did at that time. So doing it now the way they are, I'll gladly take that. So there you go. That knocks one of my top four-ish most anticipated games of this year and now becomes one of the most anticipated games of next year. But like I said, I don't know how much you can read into it. I'm glad to take the hit for other people and they don't have to. Um, but I, I think it's possible this game could be a first half of next year. The Unreal Engine thing makes it more murky, right? But yet again, still, the crunch comment, the fact that if you overworked people to the point of, you know, losing their minds and all this kind of stuff, you would be able to put it out this year. So what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean do that. It means, well, if you then take your time, what does that do? Does that add three months? Does it add five months? Does it add eight months? I think it's the shorter side of things. So again, December, if you rushed it, well, maybe now you can do March if you kind of take your time. Nobody burns out. Nobody flips out. Then maybe you can nail that time period. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're all subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. If you want to support or watch any of my other content, I got multiple channels. All the links are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.